Before attempting to build your NetA8 3D printer, make sure your package came with all the required parts. You can find this list on the included microSD card or on the link in the description below. The tools you will need are the Phillips screwdriver, which should be included, and optionally, tweezers or needle-nose pliers. You will need to pause and rewatch many parts of this video while assembling. Part 1, the main frame. For part 1, you're going to need these two acrylic side panels, kind of triangular shaped, and the top and bottom panel, which are pictured. Along with that, you're going to need the M3 nuts, as well as the M3 by 18 screws, which is primarily what you're going to use for a ton of this build. I think there's like 50 or so included, so, you know, you're going to be using an absolute ton of them. And uh, for the rest of the build, I'm not going to actually show you guys me taking off the covers for the acrylic because it took a really, really long time. In real time, it was like 14 minutes just for these couple pieces. You may want to do this before you even start building just so that way you can worry about building and not peeling. So get the side panel or one of them, it doesn't really matter, they're identical, and pop it into the bottom panel that you have here. They should fit really nicely. There's only basically one... Um, or a section of notches that you can push it in so you don't have to really worry about putting it in the wrong spot because it's not possible. And once you put it into place, which it should be relatively easy to do, you're going to take four of those screws and four of those nuts and basically um, tighten it to the other piece. Um, with the nuts, it's kind of a little bit difficult to get them into the acrylic. Um, not that it's hard to slide them in, but they fall out really easily. So what best practice was for me was to get the nut into place. And then before attempting to screw the screw through into the nut, I used one of my hands to actually hold the nut in place and the other hand to hand tighten the screw into place, if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. You'll kind of learn your own technique as you've done a few, but it's a little frustrating until you figure out how to get the nuts to stay into place without falling on you. And as you can see here, the part is secured using those four screws and the nuts. Then basically rinse and repeat, go ahead and do the exact same thing to the other side, grab the other side panel and screw in the four screws and the four nuts. And as you can see here, we've got four on that side and four on the other side. Once done with that, we're going to go ahead and put the top panel on which houses the LCD screen later on. Um, you want to make sure that you have the holes for the buttons on the right side, otherwise you've got the panel on upside down. You can kind of see it here, but yeah, the buttons or the, the kind of like D-pad looking button sections are going to be on the right side. Then you're going to use the exact same screws and nuts. You're going to use two on each side to secure the top piece to the rest of the frame, as pictured here. Then you're going to use these two top parts, one on the left and one on the right. They'll just pop right on into place. You're using the exact same screws and nuts. Each one will take two. It's a little bit tricky to get the nuts into place for these things. Um, that's why I recommended tweezers or needle nose pliers. Um, I've got relatively large thumbs, so it just kind of made it difficult. I had to really go at weird angles and drop the nuts multiple times pretty much for each part before I was able to get them in. But, you know, it wasn't too bad in the end. So this has been basically the main frame. In part two, we're going to assemble some of uh, some more of the main frame, more of the bottom, as well as working on getting the bed installed. So uh, stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, the video should be live probably tomorrow. My goal is to do one of these a day until it's completely built. Uh, but yeah, don't forget to smack the like button. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. This has been Daniel from ModBot. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace, guys.